So after a pretty busy first few weeks of the Six Nations, last week was a good opportunity to rest and recharge for the players. Uh, so Frank will design their S&C programs and they all have slight modifications based on their preferences and based on any injuries that they're carrying. Alongside the gym session that we've got going on behind me, there's also a medical clinic running. Um, so the, the doctor and our physio team, uh, they'll check in with all of the players. Um, so anyone that we know that's carrying little niggles or bumps and bruises that they picked up over those first few weeks, they'll check in and see how they're managing those. Um, and then in the gym behind me there as well, um, they can check how they're getting on with their programme to see if they need any adaptations made there. Um, we'll also check in with the players each morning. So the players will complete a jump um, or a series of counter movement jumps in the morning. So that is basically like a, a tile like you would see in your, your kitchen floor. There's two of those. They'll stand on that and they'll complete three jumps. So that gives us an indicator of their kind of neuromuscular readiness. Um, and we'll look at that both on a day-to-day -day basis, but also week to week to see how that's changed. Coming into this week, we're checking that the girls are in a good place physically on day one. Um, and then going through the camp, uh, we'll continue to monitor them to make sure that they're ready for game day when that comes around on Saturday. Well, today's uh, session looked at a bit of a length, kicking for, for, for more distance. Um, Italy are a, a really good counter-attacking team, actually, so we we'll want to, when we kick, get as far up the field as possible. They, uh, they keep possession well, they've got some good attackers. Um, so uh, the, the aim was today to, to try and get uh, some more distance, get um, more players in the team uh, well enabled and confident at, at kicking for distance. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Like, uh, everybody automatically associates Six Nations with momentum, and it's key um, at any level. Because the games come thick and fast, getting off to a good start is really important. If you don't get off to a great start, then the next game's on top of you right away. Uh, I think what's been good is after, you know, three performances so far, has been certainly good elements of performances, but disappointing results. The week that we've just had, that there hasn't been a game, has been important for, uh, for Brian and the squad to get together and, um, a, get some, some rest time, but B, um, do a lot of analysis. So I assume this week you can learn a lot more um, from not being on the field. Uh, the sessions on the field will be intense, uh, uh, but there's a lot of understanding and knowledge and analysis that can be done you know, off the field that's, that's vitally important because your, your body at this stage of the, the campaign probably restricts the amount you can do on field, especially with two away games coming up back to back and two travel days. Um, so yeah, the, the, uh, the on-field stuff is probably a little bit less, but the off-field stuff is probably even greater.
Yeah, so we've obviously just come back off uh, a week off after the first three games. So we've had some good rest as a squad, you know, some time away. Um, had a good review on Monday when we came into camp and then just looking to put those fixes in. I think over the first three games we've had some really um, good performances, but probably just looking to be a bit more clinical. Both teams looking for the first win, so I think we're both going to be coming out absolutely firing. I think it'll be physical, um, and again, they've got a really good back line, so probably looking to play in, the, in those wider channels. So I think it'll be kind of fast, free-flowing game, so hopefully a good game to watch. One, two, three,